Today I've charged myself with answering another common question. What made you decide to lose weight? Well that's a fine question ladies and sirs and it gives me the perfect opportunity to lay a little knowledge on you. Although I've already been working on bettering myself by uh, quitting smoking, paying off my debts, moving out of my parents' basements, yeah I'm 30, it's sad I know. The losing weight and in getting in shape portion has kind of been sitting on the back burner. That was until I went to bed one night and didn't wake up for over 18 hours. When I finally did wake up, I knew I didn't feel right, so a trip to the doctor's office confirmed what I'd feared most. The diagnosis was diabetes. So that's why I couldn't stop peeing and I kept drinking all that water and I still couldn't quench my thirst. Uh, yeah, that would be why. And why my vision went all kinds of blurry and stuff and I couldn't see jack squat. Yep. And why I had such a hard time bending over to tie my shoes. No, that was because you were extremely fat. Yeah, fat. Oh. Anyways, so here I was with a new challenge on my hands. The first thing I needed to do was learn everything that I could about diabetes. You know, as they say, know your enemy. Who's they? I don't know. You know what? Shut up. I'm trying to make a point over here. That'd be a nice change of pace. So, so, so as I was saying, I met with some doctors and specialists, and here is the basic gist of it. Your cells are like locks, and insulin would be the key that open the cells up to allow sugar in. When you're of the fatter persuasion, the fat actually causes the cells to change shape. And you guessed it, the key no longer fits. So now your body's not getting the sugar that it needs, and the sugar is just hanging out in your bloodstream, and this condition is called insulin resistance. So now what happens when the body reacts? Well, it does a couple of different things. First off, because it thinks it doesn't actually have any sugar in it, so the liver releases its little reserve of sugar that it keeps on hand just for such emergencies as low blood sugar. Unfortunately, because it doesn't rectify the problem, it keeps dumping that sugar on a regular basis, thus flooding the blood with extra sugar. At the same time, your pancreas... Wait, 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 wait. Your what? Your pancreas, the organ that produces the insulin, well, it also thinks you're not getting the sugar you need, so it starts to overproduce insulin. So now, your blood is chock full of insulin and sugar and all kinds of good stuff. So the sugar starts to go to work on your eyes and making you pee all the time and be consistently thirsty and things like that. Whereas the insulin actually causes your body to start storing more fat. That's right. It kind of starts a fat snowball effect which if you really close your eyes and picture it, kind of gross, that snowball fight or something. Ugh. Anyways, eventually your pancreas is just so overtaxed that it actually shuts down and completely stops producing insulin altogether. And what happens then is your blood sugars skyrocket, thus causing you to become what's called glucose toxic. Your blood sugars hit seven, 800, maybe even more, which can lead to very bad things, including death. And I believe that's what I was on the cusp of that night I didn't wake up for 18 hours. Fortunately, my blood sugars came down, allowing me to wake up and go to the doctor and get treated, but it could have ended an entirely different way. So what can you do to fix it? Good question. Well, the first thing they did was they prescribed me glucophage. Now, I've used it before. Uh, apparently, I was insulin resistant before, just never really understood what it was. What the glucophage does is, first, it slows down your liver from dumping all that extra sugar. Okay, that's the first thing. The second thing it does is it actually is able to take some of those cells that have changed shape and change them back to what they're supposed to be, thus allowing some of the insulin to do some of its work. On top of the pills, I was prescribed two different types of insulin that I, have to, I had to inject myself with. Uh, multiple times a day. One type of the insulin I had to inject with each meal and the other type I injected once before bed. Now your body produces insulin 24 hours a day all right and usually keeps a pretty consistent level of it. That's what the shot at nighttime represents that 24-hour consistent insulin. Now the ones that come with the meals 
represent that little extra insulin your body creates each time it gets food to compensate for that, that needed extra sugar that's coming into your body. Now the key importance to this is not just actually finally getting that sugar you need, but it's also to give my pancreas a break, allowing it to rest for a while. So do you have to use the rest of this stuff for your entire life? Well that depends. You can cure insulin resistance by eating healthy, exercising, and getting in shape because the less fat, the less cells change shape, therefore you're no longer insulin resistant. That part's pretty straightforward. The tricky part is can I be off insulin for the rest of my life? And that part depends solely on the pancreas. Some of the time when the pancreas reaches that point where it shuts down, it's actually been caused permanent damage, which means uh, it's potential that your pancreas could never produce insulin again. But there is that chance also that it's simply gone dormant and as your blood sugars come down, as you become healthier and the insulin is reduced that you inject, the pancreas can actually come back, revitalize, and start doing its job perfectly fine again. So basically, getting your ass healthy, keeping low blood sugars, and staying in shape, and he can wake back up and be just fine. Now that's what I'm pretty sure is going to happen with me. My doctors believe my pancreas was not permanently damaged. Of course, we won't know until I reach my goal. But so far, I've been taken off the one type of insulin I take with each meal. So now I only have to inject before bed and take those glucophage pills. And now, as the weight comes off, my doctor will slowly start dialing back the dosage of the insulin I take before bed. And finally, when I reach my goal of 250 pounds, it's my hope that I will obviously no longer be insulin resistant, but also completely cured of diabetes. You can do it! Thanks, me. Glad I'm so supportive of myself. But anyways, hope I was able to, to educate you a little bit, give you a little knowledge without boring you too badly. And um, I'll let you go now, and uh, I'll see you next time where I hope to be a little bit thinner and maybe my audience just a little bit bigger. Take care. Have a healthy one.